Welcome back to Kianda the Smart Home. I start AccuWorks videos by having a look at R20B. R20B is a Linux multi-tenant door phone. It can have two to five physical buttons with name plates. Demonstrating bold specifications, this door phone is an IP65 outdoor one, so it's water and dust proof. It has two megapixels permanently operational camera with 110 degree viewing angle. Also, light and infrared sensors are embedded. Unlocking door can be done by IC and ID cards, also by DTMF. By having a look at its back, you can see that it can be powered by 12 volt DC or over the internet. It has two output relays, two inputs, but it does not have tamper. To find out about full specifications of this model, refer to its datasheet link in description. Let's start setting it up, which is the amazing part. Before that, please subscribe and press the bell button to receive every new video. To set up R20B, I connect it to the network by using Ethernet cable. I use 12 volt DC power supply. To power it up, connect the plus wire to 12 volt terminal and the minus to ground. The device is booted. By default, DHCP is enabled, so it has got an IP. To find out about its IP by pressing and holding button number one, its IP will be announced. IP 192.168.11.7. Connect the device using browser and entering its IP address. The default username is admin and also the default password is admin2. You are requested to change the default password for security reasons. The password must be at least 8 characters long, containing one uppercase letter and one lowercase letter, and one digit at least. Change. Set password successfully. This is the status page. We have product information. In this section, we have the model, which is R20B X4. X4 means the door phone has four physical buttons. We have also MAC address, firmware version of the device, and hardware version of the device. Also, we have network information, as you see. First of all, let's assign a static IP address. Navigate to network on the left panel. Click basic. Select a static IP. Change the IP addresses based on your network IP range. Submit. If the IP has been changed, please log in with a new IP. Okay, navigate to intercom, select user. First of all, let's show you how you can add IC or ID cards to unlock door. You can add normal card for residents and admin card for the administrator, only when the admin card is added. So, at first we have to add an admin card. In user section, click add. User ID is one, set a name for it. Change role from general user to admin because we want to add an admin card. In RF card section, click obtain. Reader on the door phone starts read. Swipe the card you want to add as an admin card. Door phone detected the card. In access setting, you can specify which relay out of two to be triggered 
when a card that's been added by admin card is read. By default, Relay A is selected. Submit. Adding user is successful. Now you can add user cards using either web interface or the admin. I want to show you how to add user cards using the admin card and the unit itself. Swipe the admin card. After that, swipe the card you want to add as a user. The card is added. I have connected this multimeter to relay A of door phone. As you see, Welcome. Please come in. by swiping the black card, relay A trigger. By refreshing the web interface, you see that the second card is added on the list of user. You can edit users by clicking edit in front of each user. For example, with this setting, if I add cards, user cards, by using the white admin card, the user card trigger relay A. I want to change it to trigger relay B. So I swipe the admin card, then swipe the new card. Till now, I have added two cards. The black one triggers Relay A. Welcome. Please come in. The blue one triggers Relay B. Welcome. Please come in. Using the web interface in user section, you can add, delete, and edit users. If you face IC or ID card not working, in intercom section navigate to card setting make sure ic support is enabled also id support is enabled too it's time to show you how you can add indoor monitors in intercom section navigate to basic we have manager type in this section we have push button one push button two three and four as my door phone has four physical buttons. In front of each button, we have six numbers. You can add up to six indoor monitors for each button. I have two indoor monitors. I write the IP address of one of my indoor monitors into number one column in front of push button one, and then into number two column I enter IP address of the other indoor monitor. Submit. If I press the first button, two monitors, indoor monitors, ring simultaneously. We can add indoor monitors by entering IP addresses of indoor monitors for each button. Be careful that the indoor monitors must be connected to the same network as door phone is connected to it. Trigger relay by manager die. In this section you can specify which of the door phone relays trigger if one of the buttons is pressed. This video is the beginning journey of AkioX. There are options that are common among door phones and indoor monitors. I will cover each of them separately. Subscribe and press the bell button to receive every new video. Thank you for watching.